Hey guys, this is Jen from FromHeadToToe.com and today I have another tag video for you. The other day I was just like really, really obsessed searching the Get Your Freak On tags on YouTube so I thought it was really cute and fun and I thought I would do it. So, it's question number one. What is a nickname only your family calls you? So I have a couple different ones. The first one is pretty simple. It's just Jenny. Nobody really calls me Jenny except for like my immediate family, like my in-laws, everybody in that family, they all call me Jenny. Um, my parents don't really call me Jenny unless it's like the Korean way of adding like E onto a name, um, E or A. Ah. A lot of times, uh, something only my parents will call me is my Korean name. And my Korean name is Sugyong, so they'll call me like Sugyong A ah, or something like that. Number two, what is a weird habit of yours? So, when I was watching Bubs Beauties, Lindy, um, she said exactly what was on my mind for the answer for that question. And that is that she's always crossing her legs. And it doesn't matter if she's sitting in a chair or if she's on the floor, or if, you know, whatever she's sitting on. Um, I have the same thing. I have very, like, relatively short legs. All chairs are pretty much too big for me. So I always find myself crossing my legs or tucking my legs underneath me, or pulling my knees up to my chin like this, just because my legs get really uncomfortable hanging down from the chair, because a lot of times my feet don't reach the ground. I know that sounds really juvenile but without meaning to it's just a way of accommodating ourselves to work in a world that is like too big for us so number three is do you have any weird phobias and i'm not like afraid of heights i don't really have an intense fear of spiders or anything like that but i am really a weenie when it comes to bees and wasps i really really hate stinging insects and it's a phobia because I've never actually been stung. But literally, if I see a wasp in a room, I will scream and run into the other room and close the door and um, have a little mini freak out session just because they like scare me. I have nightmares about giant wasps like landing on my neck and stuff. It's awful. <laughs> Number four, what is a song that you secretly love to blast and belt out when you are alone? I don't have a lot of shame when it comes to my music choices. I have a really broad taste in music and I basically listen to anything that like puts me in a particular mood or like has a good beat or makes me happy. And I noticed a lot of girls were saying the whole like 90s boy band and girl band songs. I absolutely love those and here's the catch though, like there's no shame to that, you know? So I would say my one of my huge, huge guilty pleasure songs is I absolutely love the songs by a character called Powerline from a movie called A Goofy Movie. So I, I don't know if you guys all grew up with loving A Goofy Movie as much as I did, but when I was in like the fourth grade, it was just like the coolest movie of all time. And Powerline was like the coolest fake pop star of all time. Mind you, Powerline is a cartoon dog of a Michael Jackson times space astronaut type of character, but he was like so cool and his songs were really awesome and they were really catchy and I just love them. So anytime I hear those, I can freak out and like sing at the top of my lungs, no matter who's there or if anybody knows what the heck I'm singing to. <laughs> Well, there's some like light issues. Sorry about that. I'll fix that. Okay, number five. What is one of your biggest pet peeves? Other than random light sneaking in my videos and going across my face, which I hate. I did not notice. So another one of my really, really, really big pet peeves is when people leave caps of liquid bottles open. In the shower, when people like leave their shampoo and conditioner bottles open, or like their body wash, or like toothpaste uncapped, or contact lens solution with the little flip cap up, it drives me up a wall because like the product inside is going to waste. It is all evaporating and that really kind of drives me crazy. So anytime I see caps that are open like that, that are so easy to close, I will close them. <laughs> if I go over to your house and you have your shampoo bottles open, after I leave the bathroom, and you go back, 
you will check and they will all be closed. And you should thank me for that because I'm saving you product. Okay, so number six, what is one of your nervous habits? So when I'm nervous, I'll make like weird expressions on my face, like something like that. And I'll also touch my face a lot. Like, I don't know, like I'll just, when I'm nervous, I just tend to do that, which is probably why I get a lot of breakouts around my jawline. I'll also do that when I'm wearing a scarf. Like, I will pull my scarf up and just sort of hold it against my face and breathe into it or something. It's really weird. Uh, I one time did that at work, and my coworker is like, what are you doing? Do you have, like, bad breath or something? And I'm like, no, I'm just cold. It was kind of embarrassing because I didn't notice I was doing it, but yeah, that's... That's sort of a, a nervous habit of mine. Number seven, what side of the bed do I sleep on? I sleep on the right side, and um, one of the videos I was watching, somebody noted that usually the male significant other will be on the side of the bed that's closest to the door, and that is true for my case. My husband does sleep on the side that's closer to the door. Number eight, what was your first stuffed animal and its name? I had this little gun bear. I don't have it here with me. I think it's at my parents' house, but he was just about this big. There were like no buttons or anything hard on him. He had a little black nose and little black eyes that were all just fur. And the brand was by Gund, and that was what was on the tag. So that's just what I called him. I called him Gund Bear or just like Gund. I know that's really stupid, but when I was younger, I didn't know that that was really like the brand and that all Gund products had the same tag on it. But yeah, I just thought that was his name. Number nine, what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Okay, so I'm not like a huge Starbucks person. I think that they're fun and delicious to drink, but they, they are kind of expensive. Oh, and I'm not a huge coffee drinker. I don't usually drink a lot of caffeine unless it's like matcha latte which I love but what I'll order at Starbucks is actually a steamer which is like steamed milk and then I'll have like flavoring put in it maybe it's hazelnut or something like that it's really delicious if you haven't tried it you should okay number 10 what's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice this is one that I try not to preach because I don't really practice it but I don't drink as much water as I probably should I know they say that you should drink like eight cups of water a day and just thinking about that makes me think about running to the bathroom all the time. I'm not a very big person and I just, that seems like a whole lot of water to me, but um, it's really great for your skin and health and when it comes to giving advice, I usually just slide that under the radar because I, I really honestly just don't drink as many liquids as I should. Number 11, which way do you face in the shower? So this kind of depends on what point of the shower it is. When I first walk in, like I'll walk in toward the faucet, but then I immediately turn around to get my hair wet. And I kind of face both ways depending on what I need to have washed. I think for the most part though, since I don't want the water spraying in my face, I face away from the faucet. Number 12, do you have any weird body skills? Um, yes. My hands are kind of crazy. I've kind of shown this in another video, my Perfect Imperfections one, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen it already. I have a crooked pinky that's not really a cool body skill, but my hands are all like double jointed, even the crooked one. Like I can do this weird like thing to it. And I can also like pop my fingers like that. That's kind of gross. People like get freaked out when they hear that. So then I can also, my thumbs are super flexible. They're like really, really extreme hitchhiker thumbs. So like I can make them into little arches. That's kind of crazy, right? And then I can also pull them down so that they touch my wrists like that. So they're like really flexible thumbs. <laughs> and then I can also do this weird thing where like I can curl all my fingers together like that kind of weird, right? <laughs> I can do that on both sides, but I'm wearing thick rings on this side, so yeah, lots of weird hand things. Ah. Oh, and I guess I can also like do the whole yoga thing with my legs. Okay, so with my legs, I can do that whole thing. I know lots of people can do that, 
but yeah. weird hands and weird legs. <laughs> okay, number 13. What's your favorite comfort food or food that's bad but you love to eat anyways? So immediately when um, my husband heard this, he knew my exact answer. It is the kimchi flavored cup ramen. Oh, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> uh, this is this one right here. Love this bowl noodle. This is my favorite one. Nongshim bowl noodle soup in the spicy kimchi flavor. This, and then I will put a raw egg in the bottom. I'll crack it into the bottom and pour boiling water over it so that it gets all of the nice, like, egg drop noodle soup egg bits in it. It's my favorite and my guilty pleasure. And it's, like, just one of my favorite things to eat in the world. <laughs> Number 14. What's a phrase or exclamation you always say? So I have a lot of weird things that I say. Definitely in my videos I say definitely super um, awesome. I say um a lot but that's not really an exclamation. Uh, in my real life I'll use precious a lot. That's like one of my favorite words to say. Oh that's precious, you're precious. I also love the word lovely. For some reason it just has a nice sound rolling off the tongue. And I also make up a lot of words. Like my husband and I have a lot of words that are not real words and we're convinced that when we have children in the future, they're going to speak English completely incorrectly because we just make up words. It's really bad. Like we'll take words and then change a few of the letters so they sound kind of Englishy. like instead of smile, it'll be smire. Or I like that a rot. <laughs> it's really bad and uh, probably kind of racist, but if I'm Asian, does it really matter? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I make up a lot of words. It's really stupid. <laughs> Number 15, time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? So this one is so funny because what I've been wearing lately, and like for real wearing, and not just because I heard this tag, but my choice of pajamas is like kind of amazing. For an example, this is not my only one, I actually have two of them, but what I have are these like one piece long johns, you know, like the kind that have the, the really awesome like butt patch at the back. This one is from Victoria's Secret Pink that I got last year, but it's all this really nice waffle thermal material. And I absolutely love wearing these to bed. I have another one that's like a white color with little blue flowers on it from Urban Outfitters as well. And they're seriously like my go-to PJs right now because it's gotten really chilly. And when you wear like a one piece, it doesn't get all caught. Like a lot of times if I wear regular PJ pants, they will all get scrunched up, up by like my thighs and it's really uncomfortable and doesn't keep me warm. But these... They're just so great, <laughs> and I think they look awesome, and like I don't take myself too seriously, so like when I wear these, you better believe I'm like dancing around the house and feeling like a million bucks, just because like you, you just can't wear this and not smile. It's so funny, and it's just keeps me warm, it doesn't get all bunched up weird, it's just fabulous, and, and my husband likes it so much, he will not tell you this. But I know secretly in his heart, he thinks it is the sexiest thing I have ever worn. Especially when I have like Mario Badescu drying lotion spots all over my face and my hair is all like up in a bun. Like you would not believe how incredibly turned on he is. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that was a really fun tag. I hope you enjoyed my answers and if you would like to do the tag, then please leave a video response. If you're on blog, then absolutely write the link to your blog in the comments and I will I'll try to post that up like underneath my blog entry as well. So I'll have a list with all of the questions on my blog entry that's going to be at fromheadtotoe.com. If you have any questions for me about other weird things you would like to know about me, I guess, you can ask me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe up there and like and favorite down below. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. You're precious. Bye.